Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good. I see you have the whole crew with you. Yeah. You need to push your video button. Um. It's next to your hang up button. Oh, there we are. Okay, I see. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hey, sister. Hello. Nice there to meet you. Friend. Nice to meet you. Huh? Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Everybody's so beautiful. Yeah. We've got everyone here for it. It took a little bit of time to get everybody everybody's heads in there. See, look, there's one there. Look there. In the, you got to stay in the gap, Luca, otherwise I won't see you. <laughs> they were supposed to be in bed, but here's one. Hello, how are you going? Hi, Caitlin <laughs> and here's Sarah. Hi. How are you guys? Thanks for all your pictures and your letters. We have them stuck up on the wall in the boys' room so they can look at them all the time. Oh, that's wonderful. wonderful. The boys love them. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. See there, Maya. Say hi, just on your way. <laughs> hey, Eric, how are you, mate? Oh, uh, I'm blessing, Brad. Can you see me? I'm here. Hello. We're, we're kind of, obviously, we're kind of new at this. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> We're in the kitchen. Brought the computer in the kitchen. Here, let me get over here. Oh, okay. How about you, brother? Let's squeeze in. Okay. Do you see very well there? I can't see without my glasses. That's okay. We're over here. Well, thank you. Well, it's just wonderful to see you guys. Blessings. Yeah, you too. Yeah, very exciting. We, uh, we feel like we know you already. It's just face to face fun. It really does, but it's just like, you know, now that uh, we actually get to really talk. <laughs> we want to thank you so much for all the gifts and the boxes and the goodies and the kids and all those are just overwhelmed. It's just lovely. All the little trinkets and my favorite one is the menorah. It's just blown us away, just the, the generosity, guys. It's just really oh. lovely. You're going to have to speak really loud because there's a lot of interference. With our finger, you're. Yeah, you're just going to have to speak loud. Loud! Loud! Hang on a second. We have a fan on. That'd be it. That'd be it, the fan. Any. any uh, any noise you have, other noise in the room, drowns out what you're saying. That's the basic thing with Skype. You've got to keep the room as quiet as you can. It's very temperamental, Mr. Skype. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. That's better. Oh, that's great. We've got you all in shot. Wow, how cute. <laughs> so you guys are in Florida still? Yeah, 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 we'll be we'll be here for the, I mean for this next year. So hopefully, uh, people, yeah, this next year. Hopefully. Yeah. So you're heading down to Australia, are you? Well, we would love to. We, we would love to. We would. Uh, we want to. There, there's so much. There's so actually so much to talk about. Um, even possibly getting you guys out here to the states. I'm sure there's a lot of people on on the white edge and then that you guys already have to you know, contact with that would love to see you guys. So maybe we can uh, talk more about that and try to work some way out. Uh, um, I was looking online last night at um, the requirements passport um, and, and basically all you need is a passport for, for 90 days but you can also get what's called a B2 visitor's visa which will allow you guys 12 months here in the States um, 
So you know, I mean, you know, there's 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 so much to talk about. I mean, there's so much to try to figure out. But just to kind of see where you guys are at too, and where we can all work this out, and maybe uh, uh, figure figure something out. Uh, if you guys are up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've talked lots about coming over to the states, and um, you know, because there's so many people over there, believers and things that we'd love to meet and see, and you guys and the whites and everything. So. Definitely. Doing very exciting plans. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how is now now with the rear guys RV now? I mean, did you guys already um, put the full thing, the full payment down on it, or is it uh, payment on delivery? Or we're about to find out. Uh, we we took out a loan for some of it, and uh, we've. Uh, the RV, it's like a flip top caravan thing. We're st starting small, and then if we like it, we'll, uh, uh, and if we, yeah, if we like it and we can make money on the road and, you know, hair cutting and other things, then we can um, upgrade later on. We know a few people who have done it in a big, massive uh, coach bus, that's always fun. We thought we'll just sort of start small so that if we, if we go out and we think, oh, this is hideous, then we can just change their mind quick but uh, if we love it which I suspect we will um, yeah. we'll we can just go from there but uh, the the uh, you, you'd call it a caravan the caravan arrives in about three months our lease on this house ends in four months I think so we've offered our plans to you Husha and we've said please sell our salon in four months <laughs> So, and if that goes to plan, great. Otherwise, we can still stay here and wait. That's fine. But um, that's the pl that's our plan anyway. We'll see what happens. Right. So just well, to, yeah. just to get out of Sydney because Sydney is just a a filthy, hideous place. <laughs> it's like it's it's horrible. Mm -hmm. so, I'm sure, just, well, most cities around the, the world now they they change so much. Yeah. But now, now when you guys, I mean, as you plan to be on the road, do you plan on maybe your parent, one of your parents' house, like your your set address then, or you guys changing that? We hadn't actually discussed any of those fine details yet. <laughs> it might, it might, it well, might be. A, we don't know who it would be yet. We we'll find somebody. Okay. Yeah. The only the only reason I ask is is that you know, I mean, I I'm a plan oriented kind of guy. I mean, every <laughs> numbers and, and time and, and you know, I thoroughly researched so many things out because we put ourselves in so many different positions. Um, but uh, you know, in in that aspect, I mean, like getting your passport, having an address on it, or even traveling to the state. Especially like you know, like when we travel to Scotland or whatever, they want to see you know that you have an address that you're going back to. Uh, so I mean, so when so when we plan something, it's right? You know, I mean, so when we when we made our plans, um, I you know we, we set up a home base. We pick you know we pick our parents. You know their their addresses. Every you know their their actually become our home base. Where all of our mail is sent and our pack reports are listed under that, that is our home of residence in the state. Um, I mean, we can we can talk, you know, in a little bit more about that. I mean, because the plan is made. It just it just takes so much, but yet, you know, once we you know cross all of our T's and dot our I's, um, it makes traveling through, you know, especially through our homeland security, um, so much easier. <laughs> um, but uh, like I said, we you know we can talk about that. But one of the things that we really notice when we start taking our trips is that if we don't do our heart's desire at the very beginning, like say say if, if it was in your instance, if you don't try to make that first trip to America and use you know just a part of the base funds in that, um, it you'll find when you come back. Or if, if you do decide to go, or it takes like two years. So even getting out on the road, 
you're going to you're going to quickly use up so many resources that it'll almost be impossible to get somewhere. It's a lot easier to set yourself back up by doing what you you know you know an, an extended plan. So like say if we plan for you to come to the state, do it at the beginning where when you when you're looking at passport services and coming through um, 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 customs or immigration or whatever you want want to want to call it that. They look at you and say, "Yep, this is stable people, and they're going back." You know, so we have no concern with trying to hide out in America. You know, um, so this is this is this is what we what we've come to find out that you know all the countries their borders are just basically <coughs> closed to those who want to do it legally. You know, and they make it really difficult. Um, you know, those who want to do it illegally, you know, they're they're all in the place. So they can get in anywhere. But uh, just for us that want to follow the rules, it's, it's very difficult to jump to all these without having everything lined out in advance. But, uh, that's that's great, mate. So we need to work out our heart's desire first, and we need to work out our address. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Tick, tick. <laughs> we can do that. It's important to have an address, I guess. I think it would probably be my parents in the end because they would be able to send mail on to us and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We've got options yeah, there. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll email you guys um, the, the, the main part on the, the U.S. Gov site that, that shows for visitors. Um, and I, I, like I said, I did look at it, you know, for, for a standard visitor, you have a 90-day window. Um, but if you come in with uh, a visa, you can come in under the classification of a B2 visitor visa just friends and family or tourism where you're going to be traveling but you're not going to be making any income. Um, and you can stay for up to 12 months and it's, and it's extendable. So, I mean, like, you know, just just kind of throwing out some thoughts and ideas for you guys to even think about, um, you know, something that, that I sat at work and just kind of, you know, dwelled upon. Um, but if, if you come for like 12 months, say, just give a rough estimate here that if you came after your your um, your time was up there and, and you sold the business or whatever, then like come stay with us for like three months. We start, we get things on the road, but maybe maybe at that you know, by that time if we have our R V purchased at that time, then we can we, we start out getting it getting it set we and can we hook can, up. you know Huh? We can hook up. Yeah, well, I mean, get, get you guys, I mean, we can get you guys set up and maybe you guys can take, like, the RV up to the white place for, for three months or something. This is just, you know, a thought. Um, but take the RV up to up to the white for, like, three months, um, and then by the time we're ready to go, then, you know, either come back down here or whatever plan, you know, may be seen, then we can, you know, prepare and we can all get out, get on the road and make through the country a little bit and the other people, you know, or whoever else um, will be in the country and see some national parks and do some backpacking and whatever. But I mean, that's just, we'll have to get it's just an open thought. <laughs> <laughs> you got three months here. <laughs> we're um, working on that now. We've actually been doing very well with our diet. You'd be impressed. Very well with our diet for a few weeks now and mm. settling down finally. Kids. We've just been so busy. <laughs> lately that everything just went crazy and I'm like I don't want to email Rebecca and tell her how bad we're doing without yeah. eating <laughs> but, um, but it's been like a few weeks now where everything's settled down and like I've cut out a lot of our activities we we're doing too many activities so we've cut back and getting rid of the car has been a huge relief because we can just say no to a lot of things while we can't get there sorry and um, it's helped us to cut back heaps like we've been at home this whole week we haven't gone out at all We've had people come over, but we haven't had to go out and stuff, so it's been a big relief. Um, and she's screaming, I want to go out oh, then today. I said, then I said today, let's go out today, I want to do something I want to today. Go out. I've been at home all week. <laughs> and the boys get a bit restless, I think. They want to go out and do something fun, so. Because for us, we can't just walk. Like, we can walk, there's a little shop down the road from us, like, you know, where you can get a few odds and ends and a little takeaway shop and a news agent. I don't know if you have call them news agents there, like we get newspapers and magazines and things, um, and a bakery, bread shop and stuff, um, but and little supermarket, but they don't, it's not much, like that's a few minutes walk, Any to get to anywhere else we have to catch a bus, 
from our place because we're sort of in the middle of towns and we couldn't walk to the bigger towns from here. So we have to catch buses and trains. So to go anywhere, it's sort of a big thing out. We don't just, you know, do it on a whim so much now. But it's helped us to settle down, which means, you know, we've been able to exercise better and, um, and to start you know, eating better and all that sort of thing because we've had a bit more time and stuff. So so by the time or anything happens, we'll be fit. <laughs> We're working on it now. Well, we, we, know, we know how it is. I mean, that, that's exactly what I mean, we've been all up in, you know, we've been flipped upside down in the past couple months as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've, uh, we've left no time for anything. I'm also just kind of trying to, just trying to keep our own mind, you know, on our... You know, our life focus, you know, in a, in a proper sense. Um, you know, I've, you know, we've talked. You know, I've wrote, you know, written that one or two emails about staff and stuff. And, you know, about what we, what we do, and, and it's like, just right after I met you guys, you know, I, we were, I was talking about, um, you know, if somebody needs friends, you know, help watching their children or whatever they need, you know, on, on the Sabbath and stuff. And it's like, you know, now we've taken them on our our neighbors downstairs, you know, for three children during the week, you know, five, six days a week now, you know, that we, we care for them. So, uh, you know, the <laughs> we've become... <laughs> <laughs> Here's an animal, yeah. no. <laughs> But, uh, you know, so, I mean, and now, you know, my work is playing games, and, and uh, they didn't like me calling them a bunch of children in my letter that I wrote to them the other day, so... I was working this Saturday, <laughs> today, so, well, but, um, you know, lesson learned. learn. <laughs> call manager kids, <laughs> or immature. Immature. So. so, who do we have sitting next to you, mate? Sarah? Sarah? Sarah. How old are you, Sarah? Jeff turned 13. And who else do we have? Caitlin. Yeah. And you are? Ten. Ten. And who are you, buddy? Alex. 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 Uh, Alex. <laughs> our kids are going through withdrawals right now. We're trying to get them onto some healthy eating. So they just shake. So. About two minutes and they're just blown through. <laughs> they're like drug addicts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah. Stop bringing it into the house. <laughs> they have no choice. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what we did with the children, you know, uh, well, when we were are, teaching them. Our learning at a younger age, fortunately, um, you know, this kid it, it, it started with, okay, if they didn't eat the dinner, then we wrapped it and put it in the fridge. It's breakfast. And if they didn't want to eat it for breakfast, it's going to be there for lunch. And when you get hungry, you'll eat it. And Usually, you don't get done. past the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> they eat so it. So, they'll, they'll start eating it. <laughs> and there's things growing off it? Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but once, once, you know, once... Once they get, get over the initial hump going, okay, I guess I'm not getting out of this one, you know, and I can't go to the bathroom to throw in the toilet, you know? So, <laughs> you know, and, and mom and dad will keep you there three, four hours if it's necessary, you know, at the table. But uh, they learn, you know, they just, they have to understand it. We only mean they're good, you know, be good for them. So, how was, how was the nice, uh, how was the nice show? You and Lou and... Yeah, really good. We were talking about marriage. Uh, we're redoing a lot of the old seminars and old shows. That uh, Some of the seminars had poor audio, so it's really hard to hear them. And some of the documentaries had a lot of um, copyrighted stuff in them, just when I was learning and putting movies in and stuff. So we've had to cut some of those things out, just for legal reasons, and just to keep us safe. And so... Now that we're getting a bit of a rapport with Lou, I've said, well, let's just put us in them so it's just real and you can share what you want to share live. So it's, um, rather than just me speaking the words that he writes, he's just saying a lot now. So yeah, it's great. We went into marriage and dating and Israel and the covenant. and oh, it's a broad topic, <laughs> marriage. 
scripture starts with it and ends with it. So it's really, it's a really it's full, it's a good two hours, wasn't it? Yeah, full of stuff. Wow. That's Amen. I know we, like I said, we haven't, uh, we have not had a chance to, because obviously our lives are kind of changing a lot of, a lot of stuff. But, uh, we haven't been able to see any of the shows in the past few months, so we're, you know, we've been, we've been dying to get back into it. But every time we, you know, we try to have, sometimes like the, the kids are over and then the kids are running around and, you know, and, and we read. We had to reorganize the house because now the entire living room is, is my workshop now. So, <laughs> and, you know, so we we made one of the bedrooms our entertainment room, but that just seems where the kids kind of congregate now. And so, you know, it's been, you know, it's kind of different. So now everything, you know, for our laptop is the only one that is receiving the wireless signal at least for the next few weeks and, uh, before we have this cut off. We're going to be going to. Uh, a wireless hotspot, you know, the cell phone hotspot thing. I don't know if you but you know, and I don't know how much, you know, use or time that they use. I know we have we're set up on a five gigabyte plan, so I don't like like this here. This video feed, I I know it chews up time or whatever on the, you know, according to five gig. So I kind of have to, we have to kind of monitor that and figure that out and see what we, what we have, you know, time we need to spend. On phone calls and stuff. You know, we can always go to the library, which is a block and a half away. Um, that would be at different, different times during the day, too, according to when they're open. So, so cool. your, uh, your workshop in the living room, what uh, what are you workshopping? What do you do? I sew and um, leather. Yeah. So, sewing and leather. It, uh, we, have, we haven't really uploaded any pictures or anything on like Facebook yet. Just basically because I just started Letter um, not quite about six, eight months ago. Mm -hmm. But I just started working with the Letter about six, eight months ago, starting making pouches and stuff. Um, more kind of Renaissance, kind of uh, um, large SCA kind of um, reenactment kind of, you know, pouches, you know. Um, kind of how to do the wear of You know, foreign, you know, you know, some, you know, roughly older style foreign. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I, I forgot, I, you do have the ability to get up and go and get one. <laughs> <laughs> so, my idea is, you know, we weren't really using the full stage of the living room, and he had his workshop all crunched in the smaller room. So uh, it's like, well, why don't you put it in the living room? We have more space and you know, all this stuff. And it's like, great idea. So now we put all that stuff in the living room. They love that. <laughs> yeah. But he's in the hub of activity, so he, you know, people want to talk about it. kids learning back and forth. Yeah, I, I, I found myself not going into the workshop to work anymore because I was too bored with nobody coming to visit. And then when they did come to visit, I was too frustrated, to, you know, because I couldn't move around in there. So, um, but, you know, for the leather, for the leathering that, that I've been doing, it's just, you know, kind of simple stuff. But people seem to think it's nice. Um, and that comes for my sewing. You know, same thing. Um, Renaissance style shirts, um, Jacobite style shirts, if you've seen those, like, you know, silk and stuff, you know, lace up shirts. And, uh, um, um, capes and cloaks and, you know, just dresses. Um, you'll see, we'll see, we'll, post, we'll get some pictures on Facebook and you'll get to see those. But, you know, just like, you know, the basic style, the basic pouch, kind of, I don't know if you can... Oh, wow. Mm. So, That's like this. And then, like, on the back, it's... It, it's set, you know, like as in this foreign, you know, it'll, it'll clip on, you know, clip, you know, clip for belts, you know, the waist and 
Uh, you know, and I, I like lacing them. I don't know if you can see. Mm. No. Lacing. This is, you know, and then I use different kinds of leather. Um, I have different colors and stuff. Um, and there's, you know, just using different kinds of, uh, um, just, well, I don't know, different textures, you know, different hardware, brass hardware, stainless steel hardware, um, you know, just kind of, you know, I've just been experimenting. I've, I've made, I don't know, probably about uh, 50 or 60 bags now, different different styles, like this, this is just the largest one, uh, for the round edge one, uh, but I made, you know, longer ones, more square ones, and I've got about seven or eight different patterns that I made, you know, for these. So, and it's all just, you know, it's, it's self-taught. It's just, you know, it's, it's something I've seen that I've wanted to do for a long time. It's all, you know, I did, I studied pictures. Um, we had, we had one of our friends, probably, I'm sure it's probably one of the female the key family, with all the kids in Kenton. Um, they, you know, they called us up one week and said, hey, can you make a, um, a quiver? And I'm like, okay, maybe a piece. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so, you know, then they, you know, it was like a few days later, she said, uh, it was like Friday, she said, well, I'll be by Monday to pick it up, you know, <laughs> and it was, it was for her son's birthday, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I haven't even looked at it, because I really, you know, don't have any kind of clue how to put it together, you know, uh, so then when I started finding, looking on the internet, you know, to find like, the different styles, there's so many, so many different types, you know, depending on, the, the flavor, you know, the person, you know, that, that they want. Um, so, but you know, finding a finding a design and you know, and spent two and a half days, you know, that rest that, you know, that rest that week, and, you know, and finishing it up for like one o'clock in the morning, you know, Sunday night, to, <laughs> so I can have it ready for them. But uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll put pictures like of that on there too. They turned out really nice. They were pretty pleased with it. But yeah. more made it made it <laughs> made it more like you know. Um, you wouldn't have any idea, but I mean, it just, it's considered like a ranger class. So, it, you know, it has, you know, it belts around the waist and it, you know, slings across the shoulder, you know, so that it holds into the body, you know, as they're running, you know, they're, um, so, but. So what do you do with all these things you make? You they sit at home. Or they sit at home. <laughs> they, sit, they sit in a box. <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're looking, you know, see, this is, this is one of the things, you know, one of the things is that, um, I, I, I just, I want to make them, you know, and it's just, it's what I felt to make, and I use all of my available time, you know, so I, I you know, since I can lay these and, and, and do certain parts of the work, uh, at work on my lunch breaks, and, you know, in the whole morning when I have extra time, because I, since I walk to work, I try to leave, you know, leave an hour and a half to two hours early here. It takes about 25 minutes to get to work, and then I can sit there and I, you know, I'll read the Bible and, and then, you know, work on either letters and, or if I bring some of my leather pouches, then I'll work on the leather pouches or something else. Um, but I, I just try to, prove, I'm, I'm, you know, I always try to use every bit of my extra time producing something. And so all this stuff is going into boxes, and, you know, when we start traveling across the country in the RV or whatever, uh, then we can go to, like, Renaissance affairs or... Um, Highland Games or something like this. Oh, we can set up, you know, so I'll have, you know, ready made gear for everything, you know, to set up a group. And then I can, you know, I, all I can do is build things, you know, perpetually on the road. So, you know, if that's what we look, you know, when we look at the, if we look at the 30 foot motorhome, then the back end of the, you know, back end of the motorhome will, you know, will be transformed partially the bedroom and then, you know, the rest will be workshop with sewing machines and, you know, and stuff that I can. And work on it, you know, this stuff. So, um, but you know that's that's ba you know that's part of the basic idea. So and just having inventory, having something that can be sold, something that you know, and that even you know even if we don't sell it, then maybe we can trade it for some food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Good to have. <laughs> Well, it's just lovely to see you guys <laughs> face to face finally. <laughs> it's wonderful to see you guys too, and I, 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 I fully understand how busy you guys are. I mean, I, I, 
literally a poor being on a computer because it just sucks so much life out of you. You know, your time just sitting there forever, and it's like you just want to walk away, but you can't do it because you got to finish whatever it is you're working on. You know, so you miss so much. Yeah, so that's why you know, I just get burned out and want to walk away from it. <laughs> Everybody's got different but, gifts. Uh, <laughs> Everybody's got different yeah. views. <laughs> yes, and I, I see that, that you have that. Think, you know, we've been, we've been very blessed in all the ways. I mean, if it wasn't for your business, then we wouldn't have ever really found you guys or, or felt so closely connected to you guys in such a distance. So, so we, we are truly thankful for your gift. Because, uh, we, we just really long hope for the time that we can all actually time together in person. You know, I mean, there's, 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 there's nothing that can replace the face-to-face, -face, you know, flesh interaction. You know, and that's what we need as, as family. You know, um, this, this is what we're all lacking. You know, as we're spread out, you know, we do need to connect. We do need to, you know, because we only, you know, as it was in the time past, we learn from each other. We learn physically being there with each other and sharing through the moments that we acknowledge, sharing the experience that we learn. And, uh, you know, this is, you know, when, I, I'm sorry to take the floor, I always seem to talk so much, um, but I'm sure you had your fair share tonight, too. <laughs> oh. uh <-huh. laughs> While you're talking, I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, I mean, this is while we're in the in our city here, we we only touch a small portion of it, you know, within a mile and a half strip from our house. But you know, there's there are the people that truly adore us, you know, and I don't say that trying to brag, but there's people that truly adore us and love to see us, and they honk at us and they wave at us all the time. And then there's people that just don't like us because of what we represent, you know, we represent family bonding and unity and you know we always try to connect with those and, and it's kind of difficult for those that are so trapped in a material world. They hung at us too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And men with kilts. You represent men with kilts. <laughs> are you wearing a kilt you know, now? Uh, no, no. They, um, it's, the funny thing is because, I mean, you might might have seen my, our, you know, seen the Facebook um, photo of the family, and you see me in the robe. That that's my standard wear every day. So I get I get called everything from Jesus to Muhammad to Osama to you know you name it. And I I get it. <laughs> so, one, um, one year he even had the captain of the SWAT team to come down and investigate his workplace because Osama bin Laden had been spotted working in the parking lot. <laughs> I mean they, they knew it wasn't for real, but they had to make you know, they have to make if somebody make a call, they have to be there. So, so, so I mean, you know, they we laughed because it was one of the one of the guys that they, they came up to it was one of the one of the newer black guys that came out to work and they they go they you know, they they pull it to him, and, you know, with their guns from, and stuff. It was from Haiti. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> you know, everybody was just kind of freaks, you know, staring at, you know, not only him, you know, kind of freaked out that uh, he, he was approached. <laughs> so, but uh, it, was, it was kind of funny, but uh, not funny. But, um, you know, it was... So what led you to Sorry. what led you to look into the lineage of so you did it for us too, didn't you? You made us a was it a shield or a, you found out where our name came from and uh, the lineage of our family and what led you to take that up as a hobby? Well, it's just in Well we were looking through one of our the catalogs and we found that there's some things that we can use to and they'll have from like Scottish magazines, and they'll have the tartans in there with with the uh, names and the colors and everything. And I we spotted your name in the catalog and your tartan, 
So he looked it up and just thought to share it with you guys. That's right, it was the tartan. Yeah, that's the tartan. That's right. I have to get a well, shirt made. <laughs> <laughs> this is my tartan. <laughs> Well, well, you just said, uh, you got to have a kilt. <laughs> you'll like that? it. It's so comfortable. You'll have to get yourself set up with a kilt. You'll like it. They're very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, very, very aerating, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not in the mind at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> mm. So you are... Uh, you guys are, are plan you're planning a bit in about a year to uh, to change paths and sort of hit the road. Yeah, we we have. I mean, obviously, we have talked about it. We were planning uh, being out of here this year, but when we when we sent out the message and we started looking for family that needed help or we were going to be traveling them this year, because um, we make obviously we make our plans and we have our goals and we you know we. We really want to fulfill what we think is supposed to be the right thing to do, but you know, we still say, okay, let us know if this is the route you want us to go. So we'll kind of test the doors, we'll kind of test the waters, and and so that's you know that's what we did. And once we started testing the doors, and, and uh, you know that one open for her brother, we started we started working on it. We started you know looking for house. We you know we got on our house. You know, try to get along in the place. We were getting ready to get along in the place, but it was all dependent on a transfer. If my transfer request went through the hospital, uh, so applying for the transfer request and they denied it. They, they didn't have to deny, but they denied it. Uh, so what we looked at, well, you know, it's either for them or that was for us. You know, either way, it's for both of us. You know, they didn't want me, and you know, maybe I wasn't to go there. And then, so, you know, a lot of other things are falling apart in this. Uh, so we had to start making decisions fast. So we ended up having to renew uh, our lease here since we weren't going to be heading out. So obviously renewing the lease leads us into knowing that we're going to be stopped for another year. Um, you know, we did start looking for the, um, the motor too. We didn't have quite enough to put a down payment on it. Um, well, we did have enough for a down payment, but we didn't have the sufficient credit. I mean, I don't know, they, you know, they go by credit scores there in Australia, too. Uh, but, uh, you know, my credit score ranked up there, you know, uh, super high, but I had no installment loans on my credit score. So they wouldn't approve the uh, RV loan. Um, so now it led us to the point of, well, if that, if that would have still taken us to have any of that. So now we're, we're pushing hard to save the money and have enough money by the end of the year, um, you know, to, to at least either pay the, you know, pay it off entirely or um, pay it off, you know, enough that you know, the bank, our bank, at least will say, oh, you know, you only got a small amount, you know, that you're going to finance it, we're not going to lose it on it. <laughs> so, yeah, my goodness. Coming so bad. Hello. <laughs> Hi, you know. Oh, good. Say, so I just woke up. Oh. Precious. Oh. Do you think? Um, I don't know. It's obviously a very personal thing. Do you think that maybe people don't want to? allow access or give you passports because of this look uh, would you be willing to, do you what do you think maybe if you went to a barber or something or you know <laughs> made it look a bit more funky they might let you into certain places or is that just something you an area you don't want to go to well if we, were, we were thinking about that but you know our, our nearest hair stylist is 10,000 miles I mean you know we, we there's a problem <laughs> Ten thousand miles. Yeah. Wow. Do you live in Florida? <laughs> oh, us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's going. Wow. There's no hair salons in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> there's a market there for me. <laughs> 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 
Just a second, sister. Just a second. What's wrong? I can't hear anything, Mike, because you're talking out of everybody. Can you not take this? Just a second. Hey, come in. <coughs> Sorry. They have a Lego table in the corner of Mike's office. And so every time the doors open, someone wants to come in and play Lego. So uh, Mike is sitting there playing the Lego. But when you do that with the Skype on, you can't hear properly. So I've been trying to get him to stop playing, but he's just got his heart set on it because Mark's been in here on the Skype to Lou all morning with the door shut, so they've had to be quiet. <laughs> so now he's just like, I want to play the Lego. Have you got Daddy's seat? Have you taken Daddy's seat? That's my chair. You're cheeky, come here. Sit on Daddy. Yeah. Say thank you for my hat. Yes. They're very cute. I love them. <laughs> I've only picked one in the past seven years. Oh. That was two years ago, I think. But I didn't allow anybody to take any pictures of me. So, so I kept that, kept that secret what's behind the beard. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Just the, I'm just thinking, you know, if they're having a problem with the passports and things, maybe that would be one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they are uh, I, I, I get my fair share, but, you know. Last, last time I had difficulties because, I mean, we, you know, we drink tea and stuff. And, and we drink, um, we use what's called like gunpowder green tea. I don't know if you've seen it or whatever. It's the, the tea leaves. They've been steamed and rolled into little balls. Um, but uh, on my last my last flight to Texas, you know, was quite interesting because uh, it's on my little baggies of green, green, <laughs> green stuff. He's selling you know, it. He's dressed in a robe and everything, you know, and it's, it's a little, little bag, little bag of green stuff. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. You want to ask a question? <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, well, I don't know. <laughs> the backpack, does it fit fine? Oh, yes, yes. he loves we, it. Okay. So, yeah, Josiah, he wears it everywhere. Oh, Josiah wears it. Mm. You bought one, so. Okay. That's good. Right. Right. Then the next youngest one is? Luca. Luca. And how old? He's five. 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 Okay, we have a, we have another box with another backpack in it. Kim in there. This is the, that's the smallest backpack to go. So um, the other oh, one's no, gonna have to wait. The grow. <laughs> but we have another backpack and another headlamp in there for for uh, I know it's hot. So um, so we'll be we'll, we'll probably get that out of here in the next few weeks. So that's lovely, huh? We um. We, we have, I mean, the, the company that makes those backpacks, the bar none, you know, we consider it probably the best backpacks, you know, backpack makers. Um, they have a whole line up, I don't know if you've ever looked online for Osprey, but you can, I mean, you can go on there and see the kind of backpacks that they carry. We'll, we'll get you guys out to you. Yeah. 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 But as so. far as the kids' backpacks go, the hiking backpack, all three does make the best. And as far as the size and with the size. shoulders and their neck and their back and everything. We have tried several other companies before, but um, they we had to refix re the pads and the yeah, shoulders and the neck and, and re them together and stuff to try to get them. What's the best? Yeah. Yeah, just so I said it's comfortable. Yeah. So he loves it, how it straps around the front, strap like, clicks it on, he, he it, loves it. It's it, 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 a real, real backpack for real people. <laughs> totally beats the wheels backpacks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She's been on the floor picking up bits of Lego to eat. <laughs> See? You. So we're... Um, when we do these Skype shows, we um, I don't know if you've seen any of the the last ones with the green backgrounds. They're called the branches of Yahusha, trying to uh, 
connect brothers and sisters across the globe because as you know we're so uh, scattered far abroad and uh, like you said so far apart when we get together like this it's really really encouraging and people can you know hear a word or share with one another or be encouraged or and this is the most modern technology I think we got so far to do it uh, so everything that comes into my computer gets recorded so automatically so with your permission I would love to use this as a branches thing and and share it with 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 everybody to see because they're brothers and sisters and we would you like to if you agree would you like to share something with the brothers and sisters just to say g'day <laughs> or a word of encouragement or whatever comes to your heart or your mind Oh, sporadic. When you, when you put you on the spot, it's, it's <laughs> um, You've got the global floor. What do you want to say? The global floor. <laughs> well, this is, I don't know. Um, love one another. You know, get out there and, I mean, we, we are to be light. We're not to be, you know, set in the dark, hidden away, put in a corner, we need to be out there and be visible. You know, yeah. we are what we are, and people don't like it. It's, it's not, you know, it's, it's not for us to determine that. You know, we just need to be there to show them and be an example, a living example, you know, of, of what our, our team, our master, you know, has has uh, uh, displayed. Just to the mouth. <laughs> as, as for I don't know, as for a message, it's like I said, on the spot it's very difficult. Um, oh, it doesn't have to be a message, no. Just a just a cheerio, just a sum up of a, just a, just anything you want to say. There's other shows for big messages. This is just a just fellowship. This is. Hello. <laughs> Our lives with the people of all. We want to share uh, our time. Um, and, uh, may we all come together in peace, love, unity. May we all share the voice in our master. Thank you all. I thank you guys. I thank you guys for being there. Being the uh, orchestrator. Able to put this all together. We need this. But I still think flesh, face to face, we need that time. We need that we need that bond together. <laughs> She's like, everyone's laughing, I'll do this harder. <laughs> That's wonderful, brother. Mm. Yeah, it's been lovely chatting with you today. We have to do this more often. <laughs> I, I, I know. I'll just we'll let you get it going. We got to do this too. But uh, it, it's been a pleasure being able to actually talk to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We look forward. Yeah, yeah. And real soon. Uh, you know, while we got free time for that session. Anyways, yeah. Also, give give thought to. The traveling. I mean, look at, I'll, like I said, I'll shoot you to the email and kind of look over, look over the, uh, the gun site, you know, and, and we'll see. I mean, I'm sure, you know, as it is, looking with Lou White and, and uh, you know, maybe Chris and some other not dream around the country, I mean, as, as being host families, you know, as, as us, you know, as, as you would look at it or you can call the embassy, you know, or whatever, whatever it is that, you know, they have to set this up. Um, um, see what is necessary, what is required, because you know we have all of us as host families. You know, so I mean, if you guys wanted to, or if you you know even want to entertain the idea of of testing out your your first, you know, I mean, you leave there, you know, make even you know, you know put a store put the stuff at at mom's house or you know, dad's house, or, and uh, head over here. And it's been the first year, and 
you know, and, and you know, do a little bit of traveling, and then you know, you'll get to, you know, we'll be able to maybe hopefully share, you know, all of our information with you that we have learned from our travels and our multiple times of quitting work, leaving, and getting out on the road, and you know, and working on the bugs. You know, biggest thing is, you know, what we learned when we first stepped out was. Um, no matter what kind of program you set down in the house, as soon as you step in the car, your whole life changes. You know, nothing is the same. You can't, you know, you're sleeping, you're, you're reading, you're praying, you're buying, you know, you know, school schedules, whatever you might do, everything changes, you know, completely. You know, whether, you know, whether you really want to or not, it happens when you get off the road. You know, and so we would, we would like to share that information, you know, Share that time and we can, you know, and we need to you know, kind of we can make, we can try to make it happen, you know, whether, you know, we'll help, you know, pay the finances, you know, help, help get you guys out here, or, you know, even you know, the other brothers. You know. but, but, you know, you know, like I said, you know, it, it's just another avenue. I, I love to plan on other things they do, you know, try to plan. Um, then we can work about at the end of the time period, maybe at the end of the year, then we, maybe we could shoot out to you guys, you know, and you guys are heading back, and we can go back, you know, with you guys or whatever. We, um, yeah. When we first talked about this plan, we wanted to um, go traveling hit the road for, um, for years now, like since Josiah was a baby. and. The plan comes up, but it never happens, and so falls through, and we end up doing something different. When we sold um, our salon up in Queensland and moved down to Sydney here, we spoke to Lou about um, going up, coming over to the states and, and spending some time there and doing stuff. And then, and then we just felt that wasn't the right thing for us at the time, so we came back. We went back to our idea of coming down to Sydney, and this time. That, at that time, we only knew we only just knew the whites. We didn't know them very well, um, and we'd only just started to get to know them. And we didn't know anyone else over there in the states at that time. This time, when we sold, when we were deciding to sell up, we decided that at first our decision came to we were going to come over to the states and travel and do exactly what you're saying, like travel around, visit people, um, go and stay with the whites, come and see you guys, like visit everyone. And we looked into it a little bit. Now we haven't looked. At, we didn't look into it. We didn't actually get as far as you guys have with working out the visas and things. I knew that there was stuff like that that you had to look at, but we hadn't gotten that far. We look at the flights, and to get our whole family just to LA from Sydney to LA was a, just over the ten thousand dollar mark, and that wasn't one way. Um, oh, that was and, one way. Yeah, that was one way, um, and so. We're, we're, we, I never even looked at but two way. I guess if you we did return, it'd be you know like it wouldn't be exactly be twenty grand. But we looked at around the twenty grand mark for us to get there and back, and <laughs> that made up our mind for us that time. <laughs> that well, that, was probably, let, me, let me do some looking on that because, like I said, you know when I look for plane tickets for us, I mean we could get there and back for eight thousand. Yeah. And that's you know and that's coming from Florida. Yeah. So let me. I mean I I I, I mean I'm not like perfect at it, but I, mean, I know a lot of tricks of ways to look through the plane tickets yeah. and kind of, you know, there's, there's certain ways, I mean, once you, once you learn an airline, you learn where their hub cities are, mm -hmm. and when you find out where their hub cities are, you find out where you can fly into, um, you get into, the, you know, the main city, and then you find out what the other, you know, the, the actual, like, airline, say if I was coming from Qantas or something, mm -hmm. um, I believe it would be Qantas or something, say if I was coming from that, I would, like, fly right into like LA or something, you know, at one of their deal times. Um, then from LA, you know, if, if it's in that if it's in that area then then maybe it would be Continental or Delta or something that would be working out of that one. They would have like direct flights to say Florida or or you know, Louisiana or someplace else. You know, and then you would you would jump flights, you know, to another airline company. And you generally when you get in the States you can you know, a lot of times one way is like hundred and fifty bucks or something, you know. You know, to certain other destinations, and especially like say Orlando, um, since 
when you when you travel like say Las Vegas or Orlando, these huge tourism places, the plane tickets are dirt cheap. So like say you know because obviously Orlando is Disney World and that's you know a major worldwide destination. Um, so you can usually get really dirt cheap tickets to Orlando um, because they expect you to spend all your money there in Orlando. But you're only three hours from Naples. So, you know, you fly into a major area like this and then, you know, just um, drive down or be picked up or whatever, you know, things like that. You know, you, you save drastic amounts of money. Just like when we flew over to uh, um, Scotland, just to kind of give you an idea, I was looking at plane tickets to get into Scotland. I was looking at $689 um, one-way ticket into Scotland. Um, but I looked for all the different um, companies and the airlines that work the different routes. And um, I found Continental Airlines that flew. It was a major hub was flying into Belfast, Ireland. I got one-way tickets into Belfast, Ireland for $200. So. Um, so, you know, I mean, you're looking at, we paid $1,000 to Ireland and $1,000 back, you know, and it only cost us to, to ferry, you know, to jump onto a ferry, it only cost us 120 pounds from Ireland into Scotland, and it dropped us off, you know, within like 15 miles of our starting point from when we started trekking. So, I mean, so I mean, it's it just, it's a, it's a matter of just kind of, you know, you, you have to look at the different routes, so. I, I know we could probably find some better, I mean, obviously, a lot better you know, plane tickets and stuff, but it's just a matter of where we're, where we're working at. Um, also, just making, you know, like, the primary thing is, I mean, if you don't have your passport stuff, at least get those things taken care of now, so I mean, that, that eliminates any, any necessity or need or worry, you know, uh, sometimes they can take, you know, 90 days where you get, and once you have your passport, then, you know, you're pretty much got free, you're able to travel somewhere. So. You know, I mean, you might, you guys might even find it, you know, a better deal if, um, if some points, I mean, just, you know, just another quick option, just to let you know that I know New Zealand has a lot of major flights that come from New Zealand, you know, with a lot of our air carriers. Um, and I'm sure just like, you know, it works with us, it might work with you guys too. You might have those Sydney deals, Sydney to New Zealand for $69 one way or whatever. You know, if you guys had to do something like that. I mean, you know, and, and yet it cuts out maybe $200 per person, you know. I mean, it's just a matter of how flexible you want to be, you know. I know traveling with the young ones, you know, it, it gets kind of hairy. <laughs> oh, that's but, right. Um, you know, but, but you know, I'm, I'm sure maybe, you, you know, you might have connections in New Zealand or something by now or something. So, you know, I'm just saying, you know, here's the options. You know, sometimes we, we don't realize what is available to us, but we just have to do research. And that's kind of how I do things. That's yeah. brilliant, brother, yeah. Because if we could cut down yeah. that, that initial cost, um, you know, to under 10 grand, then we would, it's something we would consider. I don't know if we'd end up going for a year, but we, whatever, whatever, but we definitely consider, it, it was really just the initial cost. So if we could bring that cost down. Michael, come on. Hey? <laughs> You'd be supported by all of us. Come on, you take the on. <laughs> There's seven people here, mate. <laughs> And they okay. love to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that was the big thing. Like that was what we wanted to do. We were so excited when we first talked about selling the salon and going. We were like, we're going to go up to the states. We're going to travel around in an RV and go see people and just go and do that there. Before we did Australia because we thought, you know, we want to go then. Um, but being twenty thousand dollars, what we get for the salon, we wouldn't have enough left over then. If we came back, we Just wanted to back. make sure we had enough money yeah. to set stuff up here, like buy something here and go around again. We didn't want to be relying on, you know, um, anyway. anything, you know, like to. So we didn't want. Basically, we didn't want to leave ourselves out dry. Excuse me, Daddy. Excuse me, Daddy. Can I have a pear? A pear. pear. Yeah, you can go oh, and get a pear. A pear's ready. You have to feel them. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> They've been waiting for the pears to be ripe for a few days. <laughs> um, but our thing was the cost. We looked at the cost. We were excited to do it. And when we found out that cost, we went, that's just going to leave us too stressed. Not We want to be able to have money behind us. so that we, and, and that would basically probably end up sucking us dry. By the time we 
we paid for flights to get there and then we bought an RV or something over there, we'd have nothing left. Um, and we didn't want to be in that predicament in a strange country. Um, I like adventure, we like adventure, but that was like a little too daunting. <laughs> so um, yeah, we sort of, that, that was the biggest reason we didn't end up deciding to do it was the cost of it. So yes, if you can find flights and stuff that are cheaper, it's definitely something we wanted to do. Okay. Well, keep 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 the hearts open and mind open, and, and uh, we'll see what we can drum up. I mean, we'll we'll keep our eyes open and things like that. I mean, just continually work. It, you know, there. I mean, every time we think that we, you know, there, we just can't work a plan anymore. Father will shut the door or something, and it says, "Okay, we got to rework everything all over again." And and there there's just we just we have learned to find so many different avenues we could never imagine. You know. So this is, you know, this is kind of what, you know, what we do in, in order to get out. You know, I've quit, I've quit my work, you know, three times now. Yeah. And, you know, and with, with you know, with the blessings of, of Yahweh, we uh, are, we find ourselves back, you know, you know, in our graces with work and working again. And uh, so, but, um, you know, we, we do need to, we do need to step away from this system and, and, Totally and completely rely upon him. And I mean, and we do very well. I mean, obviously, we've we had quite success in the past year. But all I say is, you know, if, if you guys, if your hearts are really set on it, you know, this, this, you know, we can kind of work the plan out if you want to. Just kind of think it through, be relaxed with it. You know, don't, I, I definitely don't want you guys to stress over it. Let me do all that. <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, let us, let us see, what, you know, what we can figure out. You know, because uh, I, I think that would be that would be a beautiful thing if we, we all got to spend some time and you could I mean, you could see how big this country is and how overrun by the government it is. Tell that that you know that. <laughs> but uh, you you know I think I think there there there's so much to be acquired you know for understanding and we would love to be able to. To share what we've learned, and we we dearly want to see what you guys have learned, and you know, be able to spend some time with you guys. So, if your hearts and minds are open, then, then you know, we'll we'll continue working on the plans and thoughts. Okay. I guess they are. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so we'll work on that, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll see what I do. I like it. I'll I'll choose the information on the gov site so that you can just read up about the visa. Um, it's a visitor, if you are be looking at the visitor visa, and it's a, it's a B2 classification um, visitor visa. And I, you'll have to find out, I don't know how, exactly how the fee structures will work. You probably make a few calls to the American consulate or whatever there, and just kind of ask them some questions, you know, kind of get a feel for what they want to see from you. Because, like I said, the main thing, you know, when you go into a country, when you travel into another country, they want to see that you're leaving. So that's a big thing. What they want, to, you know, what they want to see is that you have a place of residence that you that you can go back to. Um, if they want to ship you back, um, that you have you have some form and some means of, of financial security when you come to the state. You know, they'll ask you. Just, I mean, you know, we we sat we sat at um, immigration when we went when we went to uh, Ireland. You know, because they couldn't understand that you're just you're coming here to backpack for six months. You know, they, they could not understand that, you know, that, yeah, you know, it's like, well, you have, I mean, you have plane tickets back home, yeah, we've got them set up for this day here, see, here's the plane ticket, uh, um, okay, um, what about money, what are you going to live on while you're here, you have insurance, oh yeah, you know, my job, here's my job, you know, past here, and, and uh, so I have insurance, and, and I have enough money, you know, we have free credit cards, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or whatever, you know, all they want to do is, you know, those are the main things. They just want to know that, that yeah, and we and we showed them the plan of action, this is what we're doing. But, you know, like say in your instance, it would be, you're you're coming over with, with family interests. You know, tourism, you're coming over on tourism, and you're coming over, you have host families. You have us as a host family, the wife as a host family, pop, 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 what, Chris, um, what's his name? Nothing? Who? Huh? Chris and Victoria, Chris? they live in Australia. Oh, he's in Australia too? Oh, okay. I knew it. Okay, 
<laughs> but um, anyway, so uh, but you know whoever else you know would host that. I mean, you know, like Adam White or whatever, you know, they would be close family. Those would be places of contact. Those would be places that, that you have set up. So they say, you know, well, where are you going to be? Who's going to be responsible for you? You're going to be here for 12 months. How are you going to sustain yourself? Well, we're staying with family, you know. Like in you know, and, uh, Cut Yeah. Head. No. I'm not allowed to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't cut. Right. Don't tell them that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then they'll be kicking you out. <laughs> now, they'll tell, you, they'll tell you to apply for a business visa. But um, I mean, there we have like you know A to Z visa, you know. So, um, but nothing says you couldn't do anything, you know. I mean, just donation to the ministry. And if you're traveling with us, then you know, they're you know, we'll, we'll let them all watch a movie while they're getting a haircut. And they're paying a donation for the movie, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you know, there's you know, there's there's happy legal ways. I mean, sustain ourselves because that's what we're doing. We're going to be sustaining ourselves, and you know, we'll be paying for the rig, so you know, to, to just be able to travel. So, but if you guys, like I said, if you guys are up to it, just just keep let your let your wheels start spinning on it, and yeah, we'll start looking at. You've intrigued me, brother. We'll have to start looking into that. Yeah, it's, well, we just we just we just know because, like I said, as many times as we've gone out. Um, and we've just left everything, you know, and we've been mocked and ridiculed by everybody from the church to all of our family members and stuff. And you'll never, you know, it's, you know, Father takes care of us. Our heart is for Him. You know, our, you know, our, our service is to learn to understand, to help people, to, to be in humanity so that we can feel the pain to the people and that we can help them through their pain. Um, you know, and, and so where there is will, there is and uh, it all happened in this time and for his pleasure and good purposes. And uh, we just we just want to make ourselves available to any and all. So, but you know, in your instance, when we have left, we find out that it takes about two years when we get back. You know, to the you know back to the society, it takes about two years to save up and get everything. You know, back in here ready for another trip. Um, we were going to go this year. We had 16,000 saved, but you know, for another trip, you know, out in the Middle East. Um, but you know, it's with everything else that's going on. You know, our desire to see you guys and spend time with you guys, and and you know, for help family. You know, we want we want to we want to bring you know us together, and you know. Uh, you know, we so desire and need it, you know, I'm sure as, as well as you guys do too, you know, we all need it, we all need, you know, a, a, a sense of connection where we can actually, you know, touch each other and hug each other and, 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 and feel that, you know, we're in this, you know, this is it, this is the family, this is, this is what it's all about. Uh, so, um, we just, we just know that since you guys are making the jump, going to be able to get out. If we talk and send this to you guys, be able to try to get you guys into the states that you guys can, can do what you, I know that you guys you know, have wanted to do, you know, and, you know, Australia is going to be there and you have to go back there, you know, unless some ex ex extent the circumstances, you know, are created in the entire world where everything is, you know, flipped upside down and nobody can go anywhere again, it can be a good thing too. You know, then we can all be together and, and, and tackle this thing. And it comes to us, <laughs> you know. But uh, you know, so anyhow, that's that's our main thing. We really want, you know, that's why I got on the Skype and stuff. I said we got to get with them. We got to, you know, open it up for us. And, 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 you know, you know, if you're, you guys, you guys, you know, we see that excitement. You guys are stepping out. You, know, you guys are stepping away from the system like we have done so many times now. You know, and had to be poured back into it. You know, and maybe it's for this time here. That we're still stuck here in Florida, you know. Let's see what we can do, you know, uh, to, to make this happen. So, you know, we don't know. It, it's in this time. We just have to work together to, to uh, help one another. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Very exciting. So. Well, no, no, brothers and sisters, we're going to cheer you out. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's been, no, it's, been very it's been lovely to talk to you. You've really opened our minds a lot to our options. Yeah. So we love you guys very much and, and we, we 
Here's the forward to see you guys. Yeah. So, face to face. Yeah. So, you still Give me a kiss or love and hug. Yeah, we will. <laughs> you enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Alright. Sleep Bye. well. Nice. Bye. 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 Bye.